Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be reviewing this Rat Power File Hub. This model is RP WD03. So this box came in, and it's pretty simple packaging. Inside it had a micro USB cable, the Rat Power File Hub Plus, and also a user manual. So I just take a moment to talk about this user manual. It's very easy to use, very easy to follow, has pictures, tells you where to get the apps, and all the default user IDs and passwords are in here as well. Now, as a closer look at the file hub, we have the power button right here and four LEDs. If I just tap on the power button, the LED illuminates. If I press and hold on the power button, then the router will boot up. And on the back over here, it lists the model, also the input, 5 volt 1 amp, output, 5 volt 1 amp as well. And it has a built-in 6,000 milliamp capacity battery. On this side, on the bottom, it has a SD card reader, so this one can read SDXC. On this side, nothing. Here, if I just flip this, we have two ports. One is a network port, and one is a USB. So the USB, yes, this is the output over here, but it can also be used as input too. So when it's using, when it's functioning as a router, I can plug my storage device in here and share it with all the devices connected to this travel router. On this side, we have a, a pin size hole reset button and the micro USB input for charging this device. To demonstrate the unit, I just plug it in and it starts charging. And if I unplug it, it will automatically stop charging because it detects that no power is being drawn from it. And I can also charge it while the router fun is functioning. Uh, so right now, if I plug it in, it's charging at 5 volts 1 amp, but if the router is booted up, it's under 5 volts 1 amp. So I'm just press and hold this right now. So I can see the router is booting up. This. Once this is a solid blue, it means it's booted up com completely. So I'm just put this to a side here. Let that boot up. Now, previously I reviewed a number of file hubs, and this one uses a different app. So the, this app I had to get from App Store called File Hub Plus. And before I open the app, let this wait to become a solid blue. So I'm going to first connect to it. It's broadcasting the SSID or the network name of File Hub Plus and then some alphanumeric four digits. I'm going to choose it. The default user, I'm sorry, the default password for the uh, their SSID is the number one eight times. So, so I'm going to connect. And while it's connecting, now it's connected, I'm going to launch File Hub Plus. And the default username is admin, the default password is blank. I'll change that some other time. And currently, I'm going to show that I already have this set up ready. So there's the videos, photos, music, documents. And I'm going to head to the system part for a second. So on top, where it says Wi-Fi disk setting. So this is where I can choose. If I want to change my Wi-Fi name that's broadcast by the file hub, the type of security I want, the LAN setting, and choose, I can hard code my IP address if I wanted to. And other things like internet settings. So currently, I have this also acting as a bridge. So it's connected to my home router, and through my home router, it's connected because I have access to the internet. If I did not connect this, if I did not have this act as a bridge, essentially all devices that's connected to the file hub won't have access to the outside. The purpose of this is say that I'm at a hotel or something, and the hotel charges based on device that's connected to their network. I could just have the RAP power connect to the hotel network and have all my other devices, my iPads, computers, everything connected to the RAP power. That way I only pay one fee. And so this one I'm piggybacking off my home network. Here's the system settings. So I could I change my username if I wanted to, my host name, disk information. So if I had a USB device, actually yeah, I got a USB drive right here. So I got my Kingston flash drive. Let's plug it in. And while that's being detected, also for my uh, firmware, I can also upgrade it if I wanted to. So now it's, after it's detected, if I go back to disk information, it tells me how much storage space is available on this 32 gigabyte SD card. So if I want to find out what firmware I'm using, just go to about page. And I can always download the latest firmware from the Rap Power website. Since I got a USB storage device plugged in into here, I'm going to click on File Folder. So now I can access the contents on it. And this, this one's like my dash cam, so... So 
So I'm gonna play from the beginning. Uh, there's no lag. Uh, I can speed it up if I want to. It's actually very the, the signal strength, strength, and the quality is pretty good. If I want to access the pictures or videos on my iPhone, I just click on this tab. The same thing on Android, it looks exactly the same. I can always access my Android files too. So I'm just going to open up some picture like this one, for example, of my daughter. And to turn off the router, just press and hold the power button right here. And the unit will just start powering down. Overall, I like this device a lot. 6,000 milliamp capacity battery. The functionality is very straightforward, very easy to use. Alright, so thanks for watching this review of the RAP Power File Hub Plus. The model is RP-WD03. RAP Power did provide this unit for review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Walker Hamster. Bye.